Gun violence restraining orders are meant to protect the public from dangerous gun owners. So you might think the names of the gun owners should be public. But that's not always the case. As CBS 8's David Goffertson reports, some gun violence restraining orders are kept secret. Good afternoon. We're on the record in the matter of the San Diego Police Department versus LM. CBS 8 started looking into secret gun violence restraining orders after the San Diego City Attorney filed one under seal against Larry Miliete, only identifying him by his initials LM. I can tell you that I've read the gun violence restraining order statute. There's no place in there which says that you have to use initials instead of the full name of the person. Attorney Gene Iredale says California law allows police agencies to file gun violence restraining orders in civil court in order to confiscate a person's firearms if they are found to be a danger to themselves or the community. It's designed to prevent unnecessary harm or death by persons who are dangerous San Diego City Attorney Mara Elliott has filed more than a dozen gun violence restraining orders under seal, with the name of the gun owner only identified by their initials. After the issuance and service of the temporary restraining order, there is no basis for continuing to have this made secret. Take this case, filed in July by the city attorney against T.C., with his name and address redacted. It alleges he posted violent threats on social media under the name The Liberal Terminator. Quote, Respondent is possibly plotting to commit violent acts against Muslims, Jews, African Americans, LGBTQ community members, politicians, and liberals. I believe respondent would be involved in a mass casualty event soon, a San Diego police detective wrote in the restraining order petition. Good morning, Your Honor. Gregory Gerson, retaining counsel, appearing 977 on behalf of Mr. Carruthers. And, Your Honor, we have a change of plea. Turns out TC also has a related misdemeanor criminal case where his name is not redacted. Does your client, Timothy Carruthers, waive his constitutional right to a jury trial? He does, Your Honor. 23-year-old Timothy Carruthers Jr. pleaded guilty in December to having a concealed firearm in a vehicle. The firearm's already been seized and he is in agreement that it be destroyed. Carruthers' gun violence restraining order is still pending. The city attorney also filed gun violence restraining orders against four men involved in this anti-Trump rally last year in Pacific Beach. Again, their names redacted. Judge Anthony Campagna ordered CBS 8 not to show their faces in court. Even though this proceeding may be filmed and broadcast, your faces will be tiled. But again, all four men are named in a criminal case where they are charged with conspiracy to riot. This is Jeremy White. I am here. They are 39-year-old Jeremy White, 20-year-old Brian Rivera, 27-year-old Faraz Martin Talab, and this man... 30-year-old Louis Mora, who we caught up with as he exited the downtown courthouse. What's your reason for recording before? For the news. For the news? Their criminal cases and their secret gun violence restraining order cases are still ongoing. We trained all the judges and they were 100% on board. Last year, city attorney Mara Elliott received a million dollars in state funding to train other agencies on the proper way to file gun violence restraining orders. Elliot released a written statement saying her office files gun violence restraining orders under seal to, quote, protect minors, crime victims, ongoing criminal investigations, and law enforcement personnel who serve the order. But once a gun violence restraining order is sealed, it stays sealed unless a member of the public or the news media hires an attorney and goes to court to unseal it. The fact is that unless they show the justification for continuing to have it sealed, it should be unsealed. The city attorney points out that the vast majority of gun violence restraining orders are not sealed, and the office is working on a plan whereby those secret gun violence restraining orders would automatically get unsealed after the initial court appearance of the gun owner. David Godfordson, CBS 8.